I created my business because of the need that I saw in our own local community. Because in all of my networking years, I had never once met a virtual assistant. And I worked with all of these business owners that couldn't get their head out of their admin ass. Right? Mm -hmm. And so I was sitting at a power team meeting one time. And two of my power team member people, and this again was when I was still consulting, they were whining, whining about their admin, and it just, like, flew out of my mouth. I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to start a virtual assistant company, because I had been thinking about it for, like, a year. And then they just look at me, and they're like, well, that's great. And then I'm like, oh, crap, i got to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> and so much. What are you going to open my big mouth for? <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, like, a month after that, I started my company up. And when I opened up my big mouth and said this, and I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to follow through just because that would be weird if I had just said this and never, it never happened. And then it just grew organically the first nine months until I, you know, decided to focus on it full time. And that's really kind of when it took off. Um, that was one of the hardest decisions I made though, because I really liked consulting and I loved the phone I worked for, but I had big dreams. And I like making my dreams a reality. But it's not the first time that I made a, a business happen, though. Because I did that for my husband. He was absolutely miserable at his job. He had been there for 10 years. I had a dream that he started a dog boarding and daycare like business because he loved dogs. I told him, like, hey, I had this dream. And he just clung on to it. So he decided to make a five-year plan to buy property that he'd be able to run his business on. And we did it in a year and a half. And then he, we, we got his stuff together. And within three months of him opening his doors, he was making as much as he was after 10 years at the company he was miserable at. And he's been wow. doing it for five years now. And it's been wonderful. And like his mental health, which is really, really just take a hit. Uh, you know, he's the happiest he's ever been. But it was hard. 